Well, this is something I really wanted to do, uh, starting an automation company that makes it easier for manufacturers to you know, bring in welding automation. When we saw the Universal Robot and what it could do, it was an easy decision to uh, develop with uh, UR. Unlike other robot brands, you're really getting an open platform. There's a lot of functionality that's already built into the software. THG um, incorporated a push button on the robot so you can grab it and move it around, which was extremely easy for me being as a manual welder by trade. I was able to know where to put the welder. It's a lot easier because you know the angles that your torch needs to be at, your weld speed, the heat. The welds we can produce with the universal THG systems can vary from linear welds to circle welds to weave welds, uphill, downhill, horizontal. Uh, you can really do any position or kind of weld that you need to. When THG's first robot arrived at RayMath, Matt came in and delivered the system. We had about a day of training and we were in production by the next day. Compared to the industrial robots that I was used to, take weeks to set up and get running. Our MIG weld units had worked so well, uh, but we have a number of parts uh, that require TIG welding. The precision of the parts has to be much better than the MIG, but once you get the precision down, the THG unit can make a very, very good TIG weld, and man, so much faster than you can do it by hand. Welding aluminum was one of our biggest challenges um, going into this as it was all TIG welded by hand before. And with the work of fixtures, we were able to weld everything in one shot now. You're looking at 15 to 16 minutes apart um, on the manual weld. Since they've been fixtured on the universal, we have been able to get them down to five to six minutes a piece. You don't have to rotate the parts. You can manipulate the weld arm all the way around the part as to where if a, a manual welder was doing it, he wouldn't be able to manipulate his arms that way. There's no doubt that robotic welding allows for a cleaner weld that has less bubbling. We have the ability now to not only reduce the amount of weld time, but to reduce the amount of grinding time that's associated with it. The learning curve isn't as steep as what people think it is. The cost to get into it isn't as much as people think. It's more that unknown that people don't believe that they can do something. Don't be afraid to take that step.